Those of you who've been to Germany know how amazing the German side salads are. In most of the cases, they consist of other salads that are served on one plate, which is a great concept, very original, I would say. To make my point, you now can see the salads that I have filmed while going out for food here in Germany. Many German restaurants offer not only side salad with your meal, but also salad as a main dish. And I will be showing you how to make one with chicken. So for this, you need lettuce, some radish that you can grate or slice, slices of red, green or yellow paprika, cherry tomatoes, either half or quarter, cucumber or cucumber salad. I am actually making a salad. So first I slice the cucumber, then I add two tablespoons of sour cream, salt, pepper, vinegar or lemon and a bit of sugar and I mix everything together. I am also using pickled celery root and pickled carrots. But if you like, you can also add a German cabbage salad. When it's about the dressings, the standard one would be yogurt based dressing or oil and vinegar dressing. I am using dressing that is made of creme fraiche, yogurt, ketchup, mustard, vegetable oil, lemon juice, salt and sugar. So nothing fancy. And now is the time to assemble the salad. So first I put the lettuce. Then on the side I put the cucumber salad, pickled carrots, pickled celery root, slices of red pepper and tomatoes as well as freshly grilled and still warm chicken breast. Then on the top I also put some grated radish and toasted sunflower seeds. And there you go, you just made yourself a typical German chicken salad. After serving the salad I usually mix all the ingredients together but for example Matthias eats everything kind of separately. So there is no particular way of eating it, just do as you wish. Another dish that I would love to show you is not only low calorie, but I would even say it's healthy. Let's just go so far. The German chicken soup consists of plenty of vegetables like celery root, carrots, leek, parsley root and onion. And of course, Suppenhuhn, which is a chicken that contains more fat. After being cooked, I usually remove the skin and all the meat and then I use the breast that I first cut into smaller pieces and then shred and put back into the broth and serve warm. The perfect dish for any time of the year and even when you are cold. The next dish that I would love to show you is the Eier in Senfsoße, so eggs in mustard sauce. And that dish was very famous in the Eastern Germany as well as in the Northern Germany. So first we're gonna melt some butter and then add flour to it to make a roux. Then after two to three minutes we add milk and let it simmer until the sauce thickens. Now you add some mustard, a little salt and sugar and the sauce is ready. So the common way to serve the mustard sauce would be with boiled potatoes and hard boiled eggs. You can garnish the whole thing with a little bit of fresh dill and enjoy it warm. What a simple and delicious dish. Also another version of this dish we had in Schleswig-Holstein in the restaurant called Meerfisch in Eckenförde. Just instead of the eggs uh, we had a pan fried fish. And for me, this also counts to low calorie dishes. For the next dish that I would like to show you, you're gonna need some boiled potatoes or baked jacket for potatoes for that matter. Herbs of your choice. I am using a lot of chives and German quark, which is kind of the white cheese. If you don't have access to quark, you can make it actually yourself from milk and a few other ingredients. In the description box down below, I'm gonna link a recipe that I found on internet that is very similar to our German ones. Anyway, 500 grams of quark is mixed with some salt and 20 grams of chives. This is it, that's gonna be our topping for the potato. For this you cut the potato in half and then you put the quark in between the two parts. 
As a vegetarian meal, potatoes with quark are served with a side salad. You can also have them with smoked ham or salmon. And there you go, another traditional German meal full of proteins and good fats. There is another version of this dish and this is baked potato in aluminium foil that is also served with a quark, a lot of brown shrimps from the North Sea and also a side salad. So the side dishes for this kind of potato are endless. Now I would like to show you another German main course that we have eaten in Schwarzwald, Black Forest, which is typical for that region. And this is cooked beef with horseradish sauce and boiled vegetables. I used already cooked meat from the freezer, so I'm not going to show you this step. I actually cooked beef breast, but you can also use the typical German cut that we use for this particular meal, which is called Tafelspitz, so the top side. The cooked vegetables, you need some onions fried on butter, some potato cubes. Here I use frozen soup vegetables like carrots, celery root, green peas leek, green beans and a little bit of cauliflower. After placing all the vegetables in the pan, you add a vegetable broth and then simmer the vegetables for around 10 minutes or until they reach desirable softness. For the sauce, you're gonna need 15 gram butter and 15 gram flour to make roux, beef broth as well as one or two teaspoons of horseradish, as well as some salt. And also we cannot forget about at least one teaspoon of lingonberry jam that you serve on the side. So there you go, we've got perfectly tender beef breast, boiled vegetables, horseradish sauce and the lingonberry jam. Another low calorie German main course are the boiled potatoes with hard boiled eggs and the Frankfurt green sauce. The green sauce is made of seven herbs, which is parsley, sorrel, chives, chervil, cress, salad burnet, borage, that are mixed with sour cream, lemon for hard boiled eggs, salt, sugar, and pepper. If you are coming to Frankfurt and you had only a time to eat one dish, that would be the one that I would recommend for you. The green sauce is also served traditionally with schnitzel, boiled beef, and once we even served it with a smoked beef breast. What a treat, one of my favorite dishes of all. Another dish that I could recommend to cook is the cabbage soup, and this one may be even vegan. For the soup, you're gonna need some delicious vegetables like cabbage, celery root, leek, onion, spring onion and carrot, as well as vegetable broth and vegetable oil. For seasoning, we're gonna use some parsley, lemon, salt and pepper. First, you're gonna need to fry all vegetables all together. After adding the cabbage, you can also pour, pour the broth and cook it until all vegetables are soft. Then you can add the lemon, salt, pepper and the soup is ready. If you like it, you can put some parsley on the top and there you go. I think this is actually traditional vegan German cabbage soup. Finally, after this time, I did find a German vegan dish. Another low calorie German main course would be Karpfenblau, which is carp uh, that is cooked in water with some lemons, onions, a lot of vinegar, salt and bay leaf and old spice and because of the addition of vinegar the carp turns blue which is extremely interesting and by the way if you don't like a carp you can also use trout and cook the same way. The cooked fish is usually served with one tablespoon of melted butter. Okay I might have used two tablespoons and boiled potatoes with some garnish. That was so delicious. And now I wanted to show you also another dish that is typical for Frankfurt, which is sauerkraut served with Rinder Zolba, which is the skewered beef. For this, usually the thick flank is used. After curing, the meat is dried and then cooked 
with spices like juniper berries, pepper and bay leaf or steamed and served with a warm cooked sauerkraut and horseradish and also bread. The curing beef has lovely texture and taste so if you have never tried a cured beef I would recommend you to do so. So thank you very much for watching. I thought that that would be a fun video to watch, especially at the beginning of the January. Next week I will be showing you the traditional German chicken dishes because many of you ask me this question if we do eat in Germany some chicken. And I need to tell you that yes, we do. But those are not necessarily low calorie dishes. So I hope that you're gonna stay tuned for that. I wish you a lovely week. Safe travels, stay safe, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!